put an end to Pool Town's 100% record with an emphatic 3-0 win at Tottenham tonight. Wimborne got off to the perfect start once more, and again it was Tom Clark who netted, this time from the penalty spot after Joyce had been fouled. Poole came back, applied pressure, had more of the play, but it was Wimborne who made the better chances and should have scored two or three goals. Uh, James Stoko had the ball in the net, which was disallowed, but uh, with 35 minutes gone, Wimborne did manage the second when Scott Joyce took the ball around Dan Ackerman, ex Wimborne player who is now keeper for Poole, and put the ball into the net. After the interval, uh, Poole applied a lot of pressure, but the Wimborne defence held out pretty well, and again it was Wimborne who always looked more dangerous on the break and should really have added to the two goal lead and made it comfortable. But they didn't, and they looked to be in a bit of trouble after 25, 20 minutes when James Wilson was shown a red card uh, for his second uh, bookable offence. Wimborne were down, a man down, but only for 10 minutes because Lamin Dibber got his second yellow for Poole and the teams were level. Poole still pressed, um, couldn't get through, but with about 10 minutes to go, it looked as though we were in for a very tense finish when Poole rewarded a penalty. Nick Hutchings, who'd looked pretty competent all night and didn't really look like being beaten, still wasn't, with a very good save low down. After that, it was actually Wimborne who scored the remaining goal. Um, a few minutes from time, excellent work by Joyce on the right, played the ball in, and Tom Clark was there to finish off. Joyce should have had another couple of minutes later from a pass from Clark. He didn't, but it didn't matter. 